What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. And this will be my Browns versus Bears preseason week four recap as the Browns go into Chicago and blank the Bears 25 0 and complete the preseason going 4 and 0. Oh. This is the fifth time that the Browns have had a perfect preseason in their history. So uh, that's pretty cool, you know. But uh, as we all know, the preseason doesn't mean a damn thing. So uh, let's just hope, you know, this team learns some things from the preseason. And hopefully that stuff will correlate into the regular season where it all matters, you know. Now, if we start off 4-0 in the regular season, that's pretty impressive. Given our uh, first four games are against some pretty good teams, you know. But we'll see what happens. But, um... Talking about this game, of course, we didn't see Kaiser or Osweiler, as many of us expected. You know, we don't want to see our quarterback go down. That's the last thing that would happen to us. You know, that's that's what would happen to us. You know, we finally find our quarterback, and then he goes down because we played him in the preseason finale. Like, no, don't do that. So uh, Kessler started off, didn't look too good. He did have a touchdown. It was a nice one, too, but other than that, he didn't really look too good. You know, he's standing there in the pocket for, like, three hours. He got hit a lot, you know. Uh, but he didn't honestly look that bad, but he didn't look too good either. Now, when Kevin Hogan came in, he lit it up. I mean, he was throwing the ball all over the place, completing great passes, Uh he threw a dime to Randall Telfair, who was wide open. I mean, there was no one around him. And I love that. You know, and uh, this is starting to raise some questions. Will Cody Kessler be cut? I mean, with this performance this preseason, wouldn't surprise me. You know, because Kevin Hogan has straight up outplayed him. Legit. Now, uh, receiving core, other than Coleman and Britt, it's utter garbage. Ricardo Lewis has looked good. Ronell Hall has looked decent. Leslie, Peyton, Milani have all had their moments. But other than that, everyone else has just looked bad. Or, you know, they just really haven't done much. Running backs, well, we all know about running backs. It's going to be Crowell and Duke. And even Matthew Days, that dude's making the team. He's something else, you know. I love that kid. You know, he's out here making all these great plays, you know. He's going to be fun to watch. Tight ends, of course, it'll be in Joku, Telfair, and DeValve. So that's going to be fun, you know. But offense is only half the part because on the other side of the ball, the Browns' defense is going to be straight up disgusting. Like our pass rush is something that I have never seen before. Like we're constantly getting pressure even the second and third stringers were getting pressure in some form, you know? I mean, it was awesome. You know, I mean, wow. And then our secondary, they actually look pretty good compared to previous years, you know? Usually with our secondary, we're seeing guys left wide open. Well, they weren't really left that wide open. And put that with the fact that we actually have a pass rush now, our defense may actually uh, have something brewing, you know? And then he got special teams. You know, of course, Mario Alford was returning punts tonight. Nothing too impressive there, you know. Nothing too impressive. It's whatever. You know, Jabril Peppers will be returning punts. Mario Alford could be doing kicks. But we'll see what happens. I can't wait for regular season football. You know, let's get it on. Next Sunday against Pittsburgh at home. It's going to be lit. Joe Hayden, of course, will be playing against us, you know. How funny would it be if we saw Joe Hayden get toasted, <laughs> you know, for a touchdown by Corey Coleman? That would be hella lit. But um, Indiana – oh, I'm sorry. Ohio State just scored again. Okay. I looked up and I just saw it as a touchdown. I didn't know who scored. But, yeah, in, uh, Indiana is losing 41-21 right now. Ohio State is taking complete control after a shaky first half. So um, that's going to do it for this video. Let's get into the regular season. Can't wait. My hate week will be posted on Monday. You already know. 
Um, when the cuts are made, I'll talk a little bit about who was cut and who made the team for now because just because you make the 53-man roster now doesn't mean you're going to be there on Sunday because this team will be making moves and you could be cut. So um, when we make our cuts, I'll talk about who was cut, who made the team, and all that good stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for those videos. Also, if the Browns may make a trade or something, I'll talk a little bit about it if it's a big enough trade to talk about. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you go. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I did. I enjoyed making this video. You know, preseason's finally over. Now let's get on to the good stuff. I'm Crazy Dog 99. Go Browns. I'm out.